I was Yarl once, but I was encouraged to step down when I took sides with the Stormcloaks. It was an Imperial plot, I tell you. Aye, not so long ago. Some will tell you I stepped down on account of my old age. Truth is, I found out about all the Imperial spies crawling around Falkreath. A few well-placed bribes, and they bought themselves some friends. Suddenly, the nobles are calling for a new Jarl. And all the while, their pockets are jingling with the sound of Imperial septins. They named me Thane. They got my nephew Sidgear in my place. A real friend to Cyrodiil, that one. Well, not against me, against all of Falkreath. Those Imperial bastards are spying on every one of us. Last night, I saw Lord the Blacksmith writing a letter. <laughs> Probably sending word to Solitude and General Tullius. Are you loyal to Skyrim? Break into Lord's house and get that letter. Good. Mind what you say. The Empire has ears all over this town. F of the Empire. Oh, did you need something? Handsome man and Keep a song in your heart to ward off the gloom. A strong drink will chase off that chill in the air. Welcome to Dead Man's Drink. Folks have gone missing the past few weeks. Word now is that our hunters are gone too. Say, if you're traveling, could you keep an eye out for them? Balder and his men, I think they were after Bear up north. You hear any juicy gossip in town? Be sure to share it with me. This must be that beautiful Skyrim weather I've always heard about. A hearty welcome to Falkreath. All of Skyrim. If not, let me know. I might have it stored Welcome. away. You'll find my brother's... Well met. Unlike my brother, I've no dislike of strangers. Met lots of them while I was a Stormcloak. I was once, but not anymore. I was wounded in a skirmish up near Windhelm. This was years ago, mind you. Now, maybe I don't pick up a blade in Ulfric's name no more, but I still hold with his ideals. Skyrim is Nordland, and we ought to rule it. We don't need no help from the Empire on that count. His name's Bolin. He's the one who works the lumber mill down by the river. If you meet him, don't expect much in the way of conversation. He ain't one for talking, especially with folk he don't know. Take a look. Steal anything from my shop, and you'll regret it. Do you need something? This better not be all the things you just can't be bothered with. get you something? Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Oh, shit. I'm purchasing. Okay. Well, at least he has a bit of gold because of it. Be 
see seeing you, stranger. Looking for some? His name's Bolin. He's the one who works the lumber mill down by the river. If you meet him, don't expect much in the way of conversation. He ain't one for talking, especially with folk he don't know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Get ready, Serena. We got company. I heard the dragon roar. Show your face, you filthy dragon. See a hound on the road. Fine, strong creature that's been wandering near town. There's one out on the road. I can't afford to chase him down, but I could use a fierce, loyal beast to keep me company. If you are willing to retrieve him, may I give you some fresh meat to track him out on the road. Oh. It's a smart man to demand something up front for his work. Some gold now, and some when I have my dog. Here's the meat. Steel's good, but loyalty's better. I'm loyal to Dengear first, and the Empire second. Only inside the gates. Much of folk withhold this wilderness, and there's plenty of trouble to be had. I was Dengear's personal guard for years. I risked my hide more than once to protect him. Why would I do that? For money? Because I swore an oath? No. It was because he was a good man and a true friend. A true Nord places loyalty and honor above all else. Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. See me at my forge if you need arms or armor. Oh, what is it? All right, let's see what you have.
Yes, what is it that you want? My uncle Dengir was Jarl until a short time ago. His old age and failing health caught up with him, and he stepped down. He now serves us honorably as Thane, and to the great benefit of the hold, I now serve as Jarl. Difficult? I'm a Jarl. I eat the most succulent meat, drink the finest ale, and hunt with the best hounds in the hold. Meanwhile, my very capable steward sees to the needs of the small folk, and ensures that my hold runs smoothly. Being a Jarl could hardly be simpler. You should try it sometime. Ah, it's you. Yes, well, now we'll see if the stories about you are true. There's a group of bandits in my hold that I may have had a few discreet dealings with. The cut they were giving me was good at first, but now, now it's time to clean things up. Go and take care of it. Good. Execute every last bandit. Spare no one. I'm the steward here. I serve under Jarl Sidgir and Jarl Dengir before him. It was Dengir who made me a steward, long ago when he was young. When Dengir's health began to fail, young Sidgir was appointed Jarl in his stead. It was simpler just to keep me as steward. Sidgir has no interest in running his hold, and so leaves such matters to me. As for my part, I do my best to see that folk are treated fairly. The Jarl has put out a bounty on some bandits. Here, take a look at this decree for details. Many battles have been fought here over the centuries. Graves were dug and monuments built, and the town grew around these. In time, Falkreath came to be known as the Hero's Graveyard. Many noble Jarls and renowned warriors asked to be buried here. Falkreath's reputation has faded somewhat, but the graves remain, reminding us of the one inevitable truth of life. May wisdom forever light your path. May the path of understanding guide me. What's this, some kind of code? Need as much iron ore as you can dig up? Well, he's not spying, but it's clear the Empire's making Lods smith up more swords and armor for them. Good work. Take this. You may have seen the open grave in our graveyard. Most of the townsfolk think it's the work of a corpse thief. The truth is less pleasant. It is, was, the grave of Vigar, my own ancestor, dead for centuries now. He is also a vampire. My family is entrusted with keeping him buried. But recently, someone stole the ward stone, and Vigar escaped. No, it's too late for the ward stone. Vigar must be destroyed. If this gets out, my family will suffer great shame. Good. He will have fled to gather others of his kind. Mind what you say. The Empire has ears all over this town. Watch 
Taste the magic. Exactly what I was looking for. Yeah, Skyrim is now host to giant flying lizards and two legged cat men. And you're surprised by me? Yeah, you talk, and I'm continuing to do so. You see, my name is Bobbit, and I have a problem I think you can help sort out. My master and I had a, a bit of a falling out. We got into an argument and it got really <laughs> heated. He's kicked me out until I find someone who can settle our disagreement. That's where you come in. <laughs> You're yeah, very funny. My master's clavicus vile, Daedric Prince of Wishes. As you can imagine, he's quite the important person. Thank you. Now, since he banished me, Vile's been rather weak. He can't manifest very far from one of his shrines. I know there's a cult that worships him at Hamar's Shane. We should be able to talk to him there. If this works out, I'll make sure you're rewarded. Hey, just don't trust any offer he makes you, okay? Doors, or in a cave, anywhere, just out of this. And we'll go to the shrine and then I'll TP there. At least TP close to it. Or to it if I already discovered it. initiation to go through. Ah, at last. I hope you found the place all right. Well, what happens now? 
is you start your new life in the Dark Brotherhood. You're part of the family, after all. This, as you can see, is our sanctuary. You won't find a safer place in all of Skyrim. So get comfortable. Our family, my dearest. Our family. Together, united as one, the Dark Brotherhood can accomplish anything. But you must be anxious to get to work. I'm arranging a job, but need a bit more time. For now, go see Nazir. He's got several smaller contracts. Soon, the Night Mother will arrive. And things around here are sure to get even more interesting. Ah, but one last thing. A welcome home present. The armor of the Dark Brotherhood. May it serve you well in all your... endeavors. Be sure and introduce yourself to your new family members. They're all very eager to meet you. I'm afraid I don't have a primary... The Unholy Matron, the Shrouded Lady, the Mistress of the Void. She goes by many names. Ages past, Sithis gave a woman five children. She killed them to win his favor, thus becoming the Night Mother. If you believe that sort of thing. Today, she's... well, she's a skeleton. An ancient corpse. But more importantly, a corpse that's been brought to this sanctuary by her keeper. Yes. A few months ago, I received word from the Night Mother's Keeper that he had arrived in Skyrim from Cyrodiil. The Night Mother's crypt in Breville was destroyed, a result of the chaos caused by the war with the Thalmor. That forced a relocation. I don't know where the Keeper has been these past few months, but I recently received another letter. He's bringing the Night Mother here. Soon. Try not to, but I do realize it's sometimes not that easy. You may want to make a statement, or a contract may require a public killing. Murder is obviously a very serious crime, and a very high bounty will be put on your head in the hold where the act was committed. You can run, obviously, but you'll still have a price on your head. If a guard attacks, you can attempt to yield by sheathing your weapon. If the guard accepts, you can serve your time in a cell, or pay your bounty. We've all gone through it. We do what we must to survive. But, there is another option. Some members of the Thieves' Guild in Riften can get their bounties erased. For a price. Something to think about. They used to come from the Night Mother. Potential clients would perform the Black Sacrament, and she would hear their prayers. The Night Mother would communicate this to the listener, who would then dispatch a speaker to arrange the contract with the client. But that was a long time ago. There hasn't been a listener in years. Not since Cyrodiil was overrun in the war with the Thalmor. But people don't know that, so they still perform the ritual. And we eventually hear about it. When someone wants us, we find out. Used to be the Dark Brotherhood was bound by five tenets, but we stopped following those years ago. All those rules, all that discipline, and look where the Dark Brotherhood ended up. We're the last of our kind, and we live the way we see fit. Bottom line, respect your family. Do that, and everything else will fall into place. This sanctuary has been my entire life since I was a young woman. That's when I first discovered my, shall we call it, aptitude for elimination. I had an uncle, you see. He made certain unwanted advances. So I killed him and liked it. Then I killed again and liked it even more. And so on. I was recruited by the Dark Brotherhood and have been here ever since. I met my husband, Arnbjorn, rose to leadership, and now, here we are. 
Be sure and introduce yourself to your new family members. They're all very eager to meet you. <laughs> again, again. To the part where he tries to buy you some candy. Okay, okay, wait. Here we go. Oh, you're such a pretty little girl. Would the sweetie like a sweetie? Oh, yes. How about some chocolate? Oh, yes, please, kind sir. My mama and papa left me all alone, and I'm so very hungry. I know a shortcut to the candy shop through this alley. Oh, yeah, very good, very good. Mine's dark down here. Oh, but you're so beautiful, such a lovely smile. Your teeth! No! <laughs> so bad, bad, but you are so wicked. What about you, Festus? How did that last contract turn out? Oh, yes, please, old man. Regale us with your tales of wizardry. Ah, oh, the young and stupid. Always mocking the experienced and brilliant. My contract went very well, as you know. Tried a new spell. Little something I've been working on in my spare time. Came this close to turning that priest inside out. What of your latest, Arnbjorn? Something about a Khajiit. Merchant, was it? Oh, a big doggy chasing a little kitty. How adorable! <laughs> <laughs> I am not adorable. It was not funny, and he wasn't a merchant. He was a Khajiit monk, a master of the Whispering Fang style. But now he's dead. And I have a new point. <laughs> <laughs> Let me guess. Astrid failed to mention I'm her husband. She has a tendency to do that. Doesn't want the others thinking she plays favorites. Look, if you're trying to get to know me, don't. I don't like you, and I never will. It's nothing personal, but my wife trusts you, and I trust her judgment, so you can't be all bad. Here's all you need to know. I'm a werewolf. I like killing things. I love Astrid. I hate annoying people, and the color blue gives me a headache. Until next time, brother. Welcome, my brother. Welcome to our sanctuary. You have made the right choice joining us, I assure you. You just trust in Astrid, follow her orders, and you'll do fine here. Once I was a Shadow Scale, an assassin in service to the King of Black Marsh, trained by the Dark Brotherhood since the day of my hatching. Ah, but that was a lifetime ago. Today, I am the last of my kind. My order is extinct. Now, I happily serve Astrid in this sanctuary. I am a trained killer, and once again have been given purpose. Life is good. Right then. So you're the newest member of our dwindling, dysfunctional little family. I've heard quite a bit about you. Save the niceties for now. I have no intention of getting invested in someone who may be dead tomorrow. If you're still breathing in a few weeks, I'm sure we'll be the best of friends. Did she now? Well, as it turns out, there are a few lingering contracts we haven't had the chance to complete just yet. And more, dribbling in from time to time. I'll assign them to you as they become available, to be completed at your leisure. It is. These aren't particularly glamorous assassinations, I'll be honest. Don't pay much either. But they'll keep you busy. Just do them as you're able. There's no real time limit. The targets aren't going anywhere. You can turn each one in as it's completed, or wait and turn in the whole group when all the targets have been eliminated. Whichever works for you. 
Well then, let's get started. I've got three available right now. Your targets are the beggar Narfi, an ex-miller named Enodius Papias, and Baytilde, a mine boss. When you've completed all those, we'll see if I might have some more. Happy hunting. Brother, yes? Until next time, brother. Told me all about you. Heard you pulled the old choose your victim gag with you. Huh, I'd love that one. You're going to love it here. We have a lot of fun, and we look out for each other, just like any family. I'm just a little girl. The dark brotherhood killed my mama and papa, and then they took me captive. Please, please help me. <laughs> Rather convincing, don't you think? In truth, I'm no more a little girl than you are. I was once, of course, 300 years ago. But vampirism tends to keep one remarkably fresh. Some I call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Interested in my potions and ingredients? Until next time, brother. So, is it true? Oh, you mean in that manor house during the thunderstorm? <laughs> what can I say? It happened just like you heard. It was a suicide mission. Astrid said as much. Yet here you stand, hale and hearty. I'm the perfect weapon. My innocent child's form grants me nearly unrestricted access. Poison or a good bite you can take. New brother, may I offer my most sincere welcome to our family. You certainly have a strange energy about you. I look forward to following your progress. What a curious question. Well, I enjoy moonlit nights, taking long walks on the beach, knitting, and unicorns. In fact, I once took a seaside stroll on a moonlit night and discovered a unicorn which I proceeded to stab in the throat with a crochet needle. I'm a woman of refined yet simple tastes. Until next time, brother.
Yes, yes, you're the new family member. Let's make this easy. Consider me the cranky old uncle nobody talks to. You go your way, I'll go mine. Hm. Hm. I like to say I was born with a wand in my hand. Well, not literally. You can see how painful that would have been for Mother. But I was a prodigy, casting simple spells by one, completing complex incantations by three, resurrecting corpses by seven. Ah! When I was 13, I accidentally burned down the family home. Bit of lightning gone awry. Oh, but soon after, I mastered my gifts completely. I went on to teach at the college. Left after two years. Too simple. Too safe. None of them truly understood the glory of the destruction school. Yeah, yeah, goodbye. Kill lots of people. Hail Sithis. Blah, blah, all that. 